Hey, it's uh, Raven Tactical here. Just doing kind of an update for last week and maybe anything that I've done and kind of got done and what's going on. Um, currently, we put in the second garden. You've seen some of it. I'll post a video of what the fencing looks like and some of that. Um, that's pretty much up right now. We are back to fully going to work again, ish. I should say ish. Um, which also means I can go back to working out a little bit more. Today, put in three, four miles and running. Uh, did some weights. Uh, actually was running outside for once, which is really nice. Um, nice in a way, but definitely have not been doing it enough and definitely it's been out of practice, so it was a little rough. Um, things that I've been noticing or really noticing are, once again, the food prices. I mean, the economy is trashed in food prices because the federal government uh, destroying all the animals uh, has risen. I mean, meat, hamburger, like the 7327, basically the cheap garbage stuff, is going for around six to eight bucks a pound. I mean, you're talking pretty expensive. Now, if you're a family who budgets and has, you know, everybody should budget, but if you're a family that's got a tighter budget and you have, you know, four, six people in that household, you know, you double the price of meat, that's kind of hard on people. Um, you know, for see things like that, people are still laid off. You know, they're expecting in June to even have a bigger layoff number. And the note I got was that don't expect things to even be come close to even having this figured out by October. You know, keep expecting the unemployment numbers to keep rising. So, yeah, I mean, you have that to look forward to, right? So, what are you going to do at this point? I mean, truly, what are you going to do? Because, you know, they, you can't even get a freezer because we've been trying to get an additional freezer so we can stock up and we used to get a good deal. And you can't find freezers. And all freezers are sold out all the way until fall. And good luck getting one in fall. Because right now our plan is to have a cow butchered or beef cattle butchered. At the end, we're sitting there going, well, if we have half a cow, where are we going to put it, you know? So, I mean... There is some space requirements, and granted, yeah, if you do it in winter, you have a little bit more leeway. So, I mean, you do have that, but at the same point, all these people are considering, considering doing it too. And then the other consideration is, will that butcher be able to do it? The butchers, like the small guys, are booked. I mean, a lot of them aren't even doing deer processing. You know, they're done. They won't do deer processing because it's not profitable right now. They have to take the meat, you know, all the cow, you know, farm stuff. So I, you have that going on right now. Um, the things that I've seen all gone up in price, well, gas is kind of steadily rising back up. You know, it was down below a dollar. Now it's getting right around between a dollar seventy and two dollars, depending where you're at. Uh, ammunition is coming around a little bit. Ammo squared, if you ever want to check them out, it's kind of a subscription service where you pay. You know, a certain amount of dollars towards certain calibers and certain bullets you want. They fill a basket. They ship it to you when you hit two hundred and fifty dollars worth of ammunition. Um, because of COVID and all this, they were delayed. They had troubles filling the orders. They had troubles even doing that, just because the ammunition shortages. Um, they're coming around, so that's kind of coming back. But ammo prices are a little high, so. Gun prices are on the rise a little bit, and I wouldn't expect them to come down anytime soon. The era of the cheap, cheap AR-15s or the cheaper AR-15 builds, um, I would say it's over. Not necessarily done, but it's going to be a long time before you see the real budget builds, or even we see you know Palmetto having a really good sale on things or ammunition, like especially the brass, 5.56 five, being 30 cents around kind of thing. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And if you do see it posted, I'd, I'd be more glad to have people share information. Um, so you have that. Um, what else do I got? Our chickens are growing. I feel like I could do a little video on those guys. I'm kind of hoping to get the, the big leghorn to start to uh, crow. So. I want to get that as a video of him crowing, so hopefully I can catch him in about a month or so, maybe two months when he actually starts crowing for real. Um, it's kind of neat, you know, we're getting birds and chickens and they're all going all over the place and they're having a good time. I'm trying to think of what else we got. Um, 
besides the gardens, it's, it's been interesting. It's been interesting to see what we have um, and getting things in. Lots of people are doing the same thing, though. Lots of people are buying out the Amish out of trees and plants and garden materials. Um, the lady that we stopped by to get some extra things, she was baffled and couldn't believe she was sold out of everything already. And it's not even June, you know. So, it's a good thing. Um, anyways, this is Rabbit Tactical with kind of a weekly update on what's going on. Um, I'll bring some further videos in this week. Uh, have a good, good week. Uh, have a, hopefully had a good Memorial Day weekend. Uh, remember the Fallen in the sense that you know, it, it's hard to remember people that have fallen unless you had known people. But at least respect the people who choose to um, do it in more solitude or do it in a smaller setting, you know. Not everybody wants to be in a parade. Not everybody wants to be out there. So just remember your veterans who may or may not have going through a harder time this weekend. You know, maybe it's a little bit of a memory, memory bringing memories up for them. So, just remember Memorial Day and what it's for. Um, and with that, it's just Raven Tactical signing off. Please share, subscribe. We are getting close to 700. Uh, we're getting, we hit over 650, and we're working our way to 750, then 1,000. So, thank you again to all the people that subscribe and share and part of, be part of this channel.